Hey guys, it's Strapper here, but mostly known as Strapper Daniel FTW. And this is a March Reptile Room slash update. The reason why I haven't been here for the past month or so is because I've currently been in hospital for two weeks with this rare bone disease thingy that attached to my rib. And basically ate my rib and they thought it was in my heart, so I had to stay in there for two, about ten days. So I'm just going to say two weeks. But I'm back now. I've been making videos once a week. So yeah, let's get to it. This is Bumblebee, my male bearded dragon. I've put sand in their tank now, as you can see it's a bit dirty at the moment since he's trashed his salad everywhere. Try and focus it on him. Yeah, focus isn't working, so just do open the That's why, that's why I hate sand, because Now let me try and fix the camera. As you can see that's him. He's about 160, 170 grams. So he's nearly there. He's nearly breeding size. Even though he looks really small. I've, been to I've talked to a few breeders and they said it's alright. So you can see he's got his water dish, his salad which is made a mess of, he's got his desert sand substrate. I know people complain about the um, desert sand and how it's in their stomach, like it contraps and all that stuff. But I don't chuck crickets in there or anything like that. I just hand feed them and they've got the salad still in their plate. Whenever it hits the sand they don't touch it as you can see, they flick it about. But this is his tank. It's three foot by two foot by one and a half foot. He's got his 100 watt heat bulb, his 200 watt UVB bulb, his rock which this comes off as you can see, plant that he's destroyed basically back there, some rocks, water dish, salad, and his phenomena which is up there in the cool side, it's a bit hot today, so you know. <laughs> This is Charlie, my female bearded dragon. As you can see, she's trashed her tank as well. I only just cleaned this, like I made it look brand new and awesome. It's three days ago, I think. And I clean out their salad nearly every day, but they still manage to trash it completely. But this is her. As you can see, she's a bit skinny at the moment. It's because she's just done a massive poo and I had to take it out. I just don't understand. Bumblebee, he always poos in his salad dish. I just don't get it. But she always does it in her water dish. It's a big pain. Anyways, this is her tank. It's three foot by two foot by one and a half foot. Got your dirty water dish that's only three days old, which has been cleaned, but she just trashed it, so I'm going to change that today. You got plant. Plant, rock, broken hammock, which she still uses because that just doesn't stick anymore. Plant, 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 rock, brick, two tiles, two tiles on each side. As you can see, got a brick on top, this black thingy, just to make it hard so she can get some heat. Salad, and she's got the sand substrate as well. She's about 180, 190 grams. Their breeding size is 200 grams. Bumblebee doesn't necessarily have to be 200 grams, but she has to be 200 grams. So I'm trying to fatten her up. I just don't know why she looks so skinny, because I've been buffing her up completely. Feeding her so much, like nearly twice as much as I usually would. But anyways, moving on to Sunshine. My female, Mari River Turtle. This is her tank. Four foot by one and a half foot by two and a half foot. You've got your rock wall. As you can see it's nice and clean. Sunshine. After I showcase everyone, then I'll just take them out and show you guys them. As you can see, plant, heater, some gravel, another plant. Don't know why that's in there because that's supposed to be Bumblebee's little plant. Plant. And six bricks. I also got some yabbies in here. 
Alright, yeah, there's one. And there's another one. This one is waterfall. It's just the only music strip for us. And now I'll get into detail of the um, filtration. That's the filter. And here's your specifiers for the water, purifying and all that. In here you just got a spare filter, all the pumping stuff, spare sandboxes. This is how the filtration works. It comes in through this, so it shoots up all the dirty water, shoots in, and then goes into the filter, shoots all the way back up, and then comes out as a nice waterfall. So this is sunshine. You can see she's getting massive, but she's nowhere near finished drying. She's, oh yeah, she's nearly, I think she's like, oh yeah, I think she's turning three this year. Yeah, turning three this year. Wait, she's only turned three. So she's three years old, she's two years old, wait, three years old too, since I got her on the same day as I got Sunshine. And he's two years old, nearly, since he's just, I got him at two weeks old, not four weeks, which is kind of cool. The bear is moving down to my goldfish. Sadly, Zeus passed away. If you don't know who Zeus is, he's a really cool kind of fish. But he passed away while I was in hospital. I don't know why, but when we cha when my parents changed their tank, he just passed away. But that's Fatty. As you can see, her tank's really nice. I'm thinking of getting another kind of fish like Zeus since they're really cool. They just like to chill out. It's really cool feeding them. Just a little LED light. Nice filter. And moving on to the last two tanks, so I'll get to her last. This is Striker. I'll put the camera down so I can actually put him, bring him out. This is Striker. My male spotted python. This is his little tank, it's a little snake starter kit and in about four months or so, something like that, I'm going to put her in a massive four foot by six foot and put him into the two foot, which is what she's in. I'm trying to get folks in, there he is. I don't know what he's trying to do, look at that. Just following the camera. <laughs> you can see he's got his rock. He's got some another rock there. Water dish and a rock hide. His substrate is crit crit crumble. I just fed them yesterday, so he might be a bit hungry still. You can see that I'll try and get him out in a sec, but that's after I showcase everyone, and then I'll try and get them out. I don't think I'll be able to get the next reptile out, but I'll be able to get everyone else out. Some strap is not really a pain. It's more the dying type of the pain. Anyways, this is my dying type of crystal. A star, basically, everyone loves her. Whenever, they, whenever one of my mates come in my reptile room, they'll look at her and say she's beautiful. I like the compliments. Yeah, she's a bit aggressive today. I just <laughs> she can see. That's really cool how this camera's working like that with this light. It makes it look so much cooler. As you can see, she's about a metre and a half. A metre seven or something like that, to be exact. This is her tank. It's two foot by one and a half foot by one and a half foot. That's just an, a UVB bulb. I only turn it on when... <coughs> I only turn it on when... when I'm showcasing or when I'm feeding, so I can see. A bit better. Oh, yeah, she, Strap has got his heat mat there, she's got her heat mat there. She's got about three types of plants just sitting there. She's got a nice log that's sitting underneath there. 
a vine that goes across the tank, a vine that goes through the wall, keeps it up. It's a nice kind of log thing that shoots up there, and there's one that's cable tied that goes off like that. So it's a really cool kind of rainforest forest thing. Another plant there. I really want her to have one of the best tanks I can make when she gets into that really big 4x6 four, four or something like that. I want her to have the best kind of looking tank. And she's got a water dish there. She feeds currently on fuzzy rats. This one feeds on fuzzy mice. That's her. Just remove her. Yeah, her substrate's crew crumble. Yeah, and now I'll showcase all the reptiles first hand so you'll be able to see them close up. So let's get this bumblebee, as you can see. Nice big chunky boy, he's getting that fat tail now. He's been shedding a ton as you can see. He's shedding his face, he's shedding the back of his tail. Now he looks like the size of what Charlie used to look like. And Charlie's just getting bigger. Charlie's just staring at him. <laughs> this is him. I'm going to spend a minute on each animal and then I'll put them back. You can see. <laughs> when he's fired up, which he isn't at the moment, when he's usually fired up, he's really bright yellow. And he's got these purple stripes on each side, like four of them, so one, two, three, four. And then he's got these red so they come out here. It's so cool when he fires up. As you can see there's a bit of red on these on Nicky's beard there, but that usually goes bright yellow. It's so cool. And I, well that's it for him. He'll, if you want to see more of him, just comment down below and let me know. And now I'll go get Charlie. So yeah. So this is Charlie, my female bearded dragon, as you can see. I'm trying to put my face near the microphone thing so you guys can hear me since you guys have been complaining. She's three years old. She's a lot bigger than Bumblebee, as you can see. Well, not as much bigger as you think. He's actually nearly the size of her, but, you know, she's still big. She's still a bit aggressive to him. I'll get a bit close to her as you can see, so you can see her face. See, that's her. When she's fired up, she usually is like a greenish yellow. And then all around her eyes just go bright red. As you can see, she's got some nice reds around her eyes. And I will be breeding them this year. Hooray, hooray. And I'm hoping they'll have some babies. So this year I'll be buying an incubator, two three-foot enclosures. Actually, I'm going to buy two two-foot enclosures since I'm only going to be having one clutch this year. Not like four or five clutches because I won't be able to sell them because it's only my first year breeding. And I'm hoping to be able to buy a blue tongue next week at the Reptile Expo, which I will be recording there. So, the Hawksby Reptile Expo, if you're there and you see me, maybe we can hang out or something. If it, any of you guys live around here, you can know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is her. And I'm hoping to see some babies soon. Because again, she's about 180 grams, so she's nearly 200 grams, even though she looks really skinny and anorexic. Because she just did a massive poo. Usually she is as fat as him. Where is he? As fat as him. But just to, today and usually all the other days that she's on recording, she looks so skinny. But that's her. I'll move on to Sunshine and Striker. And then I'll just do another video on Krista since I can't really get her out. Oh, she's interested in the fish. <laughs> Alright, I'll move on now. <laughs> so this is Sunshine. My female Mario River Turtle. As you can see, you can see her as her shell is drying up because been hit. she's been out for about 10 minutes just before I've done the video. As you can see, her skin, her scale rope has gone nearly completely back to normal. She's starting to get go brown again, which is great. 
and bring it back over here. That's the, the size comparison to my hand. You see? We'll try and flip it around this. <laughs> She is three years old this year, as you can see she lives over there, as I said again. I got her on the same day as Charlie, but it was supposed to be my sister's pet, but then she gave up on it saying she wants to get rid of it, and I said, no, I want it. Well, I want her, so I've got her, and yeah. How is that? Looks like an ant killing a fire ant. Yeah. We've got a massive ant problem here, I need to get pest control soon. Anyways, that's a... And now I'll showcase the snakes. Because I can't really get the fish out. Unless you want me to do a video on just the fish. But yeah, that's her. And now I'll go get Striker. Yeah. So this is Striker. My male spoke python. Let's see, this is him. It's getting pretty big. I don't really like my snake slithering out and about like this, like because I, I don't usually do this. But I'll just them today because I've got nothing else to do. I just get worried because it might slither off without me knowing. So I'll just hold him like this, put him next to here, because he's showing some really cool colours. So, she's staring she's staring in dead in the eye. Look at that. So this is him. He is going to be he is one year old actually. He was born the 15th of December, so he's one year old now, one year old. I put him back now. Cause, yeah, because it's gonna take me a while. Oop. So that's him. You wanna see a video here? Sunshine, Charlie, I mean Bombay or Charlie, let me know. Or Crystal. But I'm showcasing her now. So let's get to it. This is Crystal. See, I don't have much time, I've only got a minute because I've got to go now, I'm running late. I'm trying to focus on her. See, that's her. See, she's pretty big now. Pretty big, actually, I just realised how big she is. So, tank. I'm trying to focus. That's it. So, if you guys like the video, Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe to see more. If you want to see any of my reptiles in a future video, just let me know in the comments.